Everyone, it's Ross, and I have a variety to review for you all today that's quite a beautiful, interesting fig. Um, the problem with this fig I'm finding is that uh, it's very finicky. This was a seedling uh, found at Encanto Farms. It's called Raspberry Latte. And the tree seems to use a lot of water. It grows very quickly. Very, very vigorous, being that it's a seedling. It has large leaves, guys, usually spade-shaped leaves. I also have a raspberry latte in the ground that I pruned off a branch, stuck that branch in the ground very deeply, and you can see I put this in the ground in May. It's now the beginning of September, and look how big this tree is. It's super, super vigorous, guys. Not very hardy, but we have it here in the ground because... Um, I know I have a friend that has had decent success with this in the ground, but you can see the different leaf pattern here. This is because the tree is very vigorous right now. The leaf patterns on figs will change based on vigor. This is what it looks like with high vigor. This is what it looks like with a lower amount of vigor. So this is the tree. We're basically done the crop this year. We have one more fig left on the tree as you can see back in there. Um, I didn't really like the way that this tree grew this year. We're going to do a lot of pruning with it, try to control it because it's so vigorous. And what I mean by a finicky, it's very finicky because for whatever reason it takes years to get figs off of this tree. Um, it's very hard to control. And then the figs when they produce don't seem to produce that well, that, that consistent uniform production that you hope for you know what I mean they they have weird characteristics like this eye is massive uh, the thing seems to fall off the tree with uh, at a certain point this tree was hanging right here I went to touch it just now just a little squeeze and the thing came off so uh, some wind can very easily blow this off the tree and I have a feeling that in order to get this fig very of a very high quality you have to have insane amounts of heat. You have to be in California. You have to be in Arizona because we need to have this fig ripen in a very short period of time. If it's in a short period of time and then the fig falls off, at least the fig is much more ripe than it is in my hand right now. So for me, I think it's going to be a huge challenge to get this fig perfect, very soft. Maybe I want to see some cracking. I want to see the interior of this fig to be a very dark red interior, but I don't think that's going to happen with this one. Yeah, so the interior is quite red, it is, but it's not as dark red as I would like it to be. And I would like the red, I want the red to stain the outside of the pith. That would indicate a really well-ripened fig. You can see on this one here, there's mold at the eye. Green mold there. Um, but for the most part, this fig tastes pretty good at this stage. I have heard from a friend that it tastes like unknown pastillieri. It has the berry intensity of an unknown pastillieri. Unknown pastillieri is one of the best, if not the best, fig I've ever eaten. It has the most intense berry of any fig I've ever experienced. And he says that this fig has an intensity just as similar, which is great news. But I think and I fear that I have to be in a climate that's really well suited to this fig. But it's beautiful. The skin is very staining. It's so black that it's staining my skin. Let's eat it. Quite a large fig. Actually pretty good. It is an eight again, but I'm still hoping for more, right? I'm trying to get to the unknown pastillary level. That would be incredible, because unknown pastillary requires the wasp, this fig does not and if I can get a berry intensity from raspberry latte that doesn't require the wasp that's what I want I've been finding that the more Smyrna types that I eat 
the ones that require the wasp guys there's a there's an equivalent somewhere that doesn't require the wasp the more figs I eat there's an equivalent somewhere in some form out there so even though I can't get unknown pastillieri I can get raspberry latte but anyway guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, there's not much more I can say on this fig it seems a bit mid to late season it takes a while for this thing to mature again a mid size to large fig it doesn't seem to develop well I'm having trouble with my tree so uh, I don't know it's an 8 but I it's kind of on the chopping block to be honest with you so if I can't get the fig to perfectly form that's not a good sign and uh, I'm gonna have to ask around see what my friends say other people that have this variety but anyway guys thank you so much for watching that was raspberry latte take care